Hi, this is Theo from Puckerblocks.com. Today I'm going to show you this book. This is called The Watercolor Artist Guide to Exceptional Color. This is actually one of my favorite art books, so let me show you why. The author of this book is Jen Hart. She is an artist based in New Mexico. She has more than 30 years of experience painting and teaching watercolor. So this book is really informative and it has a lot of wonderful examples. This book was published in 2009 and it went out of print rather quickly so it's quite difficult to find this book nowadays at a reasonable price. However, I wanted to feature this book today because someone told me that Jen Hart has made this book available as an ebook for sale on her website. So now you can get this book. This is actually one of the books that I always recommend to beginners. Um, the reason is because it has a lot of useful information. The book is split into three sections. Section 1 talks about the pigment properties, Section 2 talks about aesthetics, and then Section 3 talks about how you can choose pigments for painting. So for Section 1, it basically talks about the characteristics of the paints, what they are made of, the attributes like whether or not it's staining, it's granulating, how to pick colors. She recommends uh, picking colors from the color wheel. So these are some of her suggestions. There are also alternative colors here where you can actually just pick and choose whatever that suits you. But all these um, choosing and picking of pigments are actually based on the properties of the paint itself. So this section basically just talks about all that. And it's really um, really nice because there are a lot of examples not just from her app but also from artists all around the world so you can see all these beautiful examples so this is section one let me flip over to section two on pigment aesthetics pigment aesthetics talks about um, different color schemes how you can use colors to make your paintings look more lively or give a different mood to your paintings for example she talks about the primary palette how to use primary colors six color palettes it's really quite interesting um, before i bought this book i know nothing much about color mixing but after i bought this i learned a lot on colors the pigments the properties and also on how different artists would interpret a scene. For example, take a look here where there is a photo of a landscape with grass, mountains and the blue sky. But this artist actually chose to um, paint with orange for the grass, with um, purple for the land and the mountains, they are green. So different artist interpretation. Same thing here. This is a Vela Quest palette, which is quite interesting because this is an old master palette with ultramarine blue yellow ochre and burnt sienna so these are colors that are really i would say more subdued more dull you cannot achieve vibrant colors but still in the hands of old master you can see that they use it to great effect even um, when the color mixing potential isn't that great when compared to uh, the synthetic high key colors that we have today So that is the section on pigment aesthetics. Let's flip to the last section on choosing pigments to color. All right, so in this last section, um, she talks about how you can pick pigments based on the subject matter. For example, if you want to paint flowers, what colors you should use. If you want to paint skies, what blues you should choose. So all these are actually more specific examples. Waterscape, buildings, flowers, animals, landscapes, trees, portraits, and a very brief section on the equipment. And that's it. There are 128 pages in this book. Now it's available as an ebook. I highly recommend this because this is really 
informative and really detailed. So that's all for today's book review. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Now in the video description below this video, I will post the link to where you can find the ebook in case you want to buy it. There is also going to be a link to other instructional art books that I have reviewed as well if you want to check out more books. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.